It's October, dudes. That means it's practically Halloween. And it's in October. It's time for spooky inky drawings. And I want to do a couple st stylized drawings of Pony on one side and Kijo on the other side. Which are Japanese folklore demons. Uh, Oni is, as far as I remember, would be a male demon and Kijo would be a female demon. I have a few, I have a few um, reference images just off just off screen on my laptop so i know what i'm doing i got new bottle i got a new bottle of ink and it was only like five dollars at walmart i think so i'm really excited this is the ink that i've been using for past five years i want to say four i think i got it in 2015 and that's still a bit in there but it's getting a little goopy getting a little nasty you really have like a wide jaw and a squarish pointy chin. High. Pretty high cheekbones. And the eyes that I see are typically kind of like this. And either empty or kind of rounded with the very small pupils. So just the smile kind of. And the teeth. Kind of like that. Right? I think it's coming together somewhat. Yeah. More curve right here. Kind of like smoke. A mist behind them. Or like that. It's like peeking out from the kind of like mist. So this is going to be our sketch. Now on this side and kind of like this area, we're going to do a female demon. I feel like with a softer jawline and a softer chin maybe. Then this curve may be not as pronounced. Still like a high cheekbone, but not as pronounced. This eyebrow kind of turned out really sad. Kind of like that, maybe. Like maybe the hair around the little horn we have going on. I literally don't breathe when I <laughs> ink stuff. See again, I'm working from like from right to left. Which is a no-no. <laughs> I mean, you can. I work around it, but it's just counterproductive. So I'm sticking up the outside a little bit. Look, I'm trying to be deliberate with my line weight from the get-go, but... Something like that. Hmm, now I want to put like texture on the horns. So what I think I want to add is a little bit of like texture on the teeth. Oh, a tiny bit. Like this. I want to add a line here. Make it go all the way down for some reason. Let's figure out this cutie now. Oh shit, oh shit. I almost went all over my laptop. Put this a little away. A fresh brush with a fresh pot of ink is just chef kiss. <laughs> As you might notice, I don't necessarily follow the the um the sketch lines too too precisely because a lot of times i 
think of the lines that would be more appropriate, I guess, when I lining already. So I just go for them. I don't necessarily, and sometimes backfires. Sometimes it just goes okay. I think on this one I want to fill in the the eyeballs. Ugh, I was gonna eat through paper, but that's okay. I'm acting on a whim. But yeah, a lot of times it does backfire, but a lot of times it works out just fine. There has to be a, a little spontaneity, in my opinion. Like, yes, planning is important, but I like spontaneous stuff because of everything in routine nothing excites me oh i want to fill in this inside of the mouth too i do whisper to myself when i draw a lot kind of like oh let's do this i'm just wondering like does it sound creepy it's like i think i do it when i'm like in public too do I look like absolute psychopath? I might never know. Oh, maybe that's why nobody ever approaches me in public. Or it's my rest and bitch face. So with the hair, I want to do it like really dark. But on the other hand, I don't want it to look too luscious. I want it kind of stringy a little bit. So I was considering doing more like folklore, horror type of paintings. Like I was thinking doing um, Skinwalker and Wendigo too. So I don't know if you guys would all like to see them, but nobody really voices their preferences to me. <laughs> so um, I guess you'd be fine with it. And it's fine, you know, it's my, it's my channel, so I have to like have ideas and stuff and but um yeah i just don't know what you guys want to see <laughs> so let's let it dry and we'll sort out the rest i don't know if i want to fill in the smoke itself with like some kind of color like yellow because you know like yellow smoke is very ominous in my opinion because it just um isn't like what was it i think it's like isn't it like chlorine gas is yellow or something like that. You know what? I'm gonna stop being so tight. It's my sketchbook. I can do whatever I want. Personally, I think that Nobody should be worried about creating a masterpiece in their sketchbooks. I mean, it's nice, but shouldn't necessarily be worried about only creating, you know, the most like finished and fleshed out artwork in the history of humanity <laughs> in your sketchbook. Because I, for the longest, felt very bad about my sketchbook looks because. You look at YouTubers and they have this extremely polished, beautiful sketchbooks and you go like, wow, I should do the same thing. And then you stress about like every page being complete illustration. But you know, just a lot of people have multiple sketchbooks, especially if they showcase their sketchbooks somewhere. They usually have one like for studies and one for finished artwork and one for this and one for that and, you know you usually don't see the ones that don't turn out so great but when you come to my channel you see every shitty 
drawing I do. Because <laughs> I show. Because I only have one sketchbook and I show it. So yeah, this is the result. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, drop a like. And all let me know. All my social media are linked in the description down below. And have a nice day. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.